Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach. We are now recapping Landscape Artist of the Year, and it is so different from Portrait Artist of the Year. First of all, the viewership for Landscape Artist of the Year is not as robust as it is for Portrait Artist of the Year, which I understand. But I have only recapped two seasons of this program, the Landscape program so far, and the judging is so all over the place. And I want to stay really respectful to the artists because I love all art. I love all art. And I want to see this program become something where it's always the same painting, the same painting, the same painting, the same painting. That's not what I'm looking for. But some of the picks, and by picks, I mean some of the people they let on the program, as well as some of the people that they pass through, really are puzzling to me. And more importantly, the people that they pass over. I really feel for those folks. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, and I don't know how you feel about it. Some of us, you know, we've talked about the judging before, and I love the program. I would really love to see the program change so that there were three different judges or maybe rotating judges and be three painters. And particularly in Landscape Artist of the Year, I really think it's important to have three landscape painters on the panel. It, it just, just for fairness. So hang in there with me and thank you for staying with me so far. Let's get started.